So I thought I'd show this little workflow video. Um, it's actually a very powerful sort of a technique. Um, when using Paper 2D in UE4. Um, so the idea is to have a you know a fully rigged 3D character and render out a sprite sheet from an orthographic camera or even from a, a camera perspective on it um, to give yourself sprite based characters for Paper 2D but have the, also the benefit obviously you don't have to draw them out pixel by pixel um, once you have the rig you can um, set up all your animations and render out a sprite sheet um, with all the different animations um, and obviously uh, drive them in blueprint then as your character um, or in later versions now with Paper 2D there's actually um, a state machine for the character player character um, which wasn't there originally I think in 4.7 when Paper 2D was introduced but anyway um, yeah so the benefit of this is that the character could be um, could be anything you know you don't have to set up uh, a sort of a complex character um, in 3D that you might see in the uh, the side scrolling platformer the, the the 3D sides or the 2.5D side scrolling platformer you still need to set up a full 3D rigged character within UE and um, whereas the likes of this character can be you know um, can be a high res character if if the animation can take it um, you know can have weapons guns you can change out the costumes pretty easily by just changing your textures and um, and whatever and adding a few bits and bobs on link them onto the rig and just re-render um, or whatever it's quite um, interchangeable um, what you can do and it's very 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 easy to set up so um, this character here and um, I downloaded um, I just came across it actually when I was looking for um, a kind of a you know a sprite sheet rendering solution in Max and um, there's a load of them about there but um, I came across one um, on this bloke's site here, Denny's Almaral, it's PX Sprites Render, and the idea of this um, is that um, you can render out a 3D character as sprites, but from different angles. You can see here angular views, but um, I won't be using that feature because I want to just render out from an orthographic view, like the left view, to get a walk cycle or whatever. Um, so while I was here, I came across this uh, the Trump. Um, low poly character which I thought was quite funny and also it's fully rigged in both bipede and cat which is extremely useful because it's, it's already set up and ready to go and um, perfect for the example here um, so you can see here you can get it from script spot here's the link and then here's um, just a quick explanation of how to use it and how to install it and, the, um, and then the Trump character um, you can see here it's just um, you know, has a Creative uh, Commons license, so you can use it for commercial stuff and all the rest. Just make sure to, if you do use it for anything, you can even use it in your own game. Just mention to uh, maybe, uh, blah. just remember to mention uh, Demi Denny's Almoral um, for this uh, <laughs> funny and also useful uh, low poly rig. Um, so yeah, here's all the different rigs and he's updated. It's quite new. And uh, there's a cat rig added, which is my preferred way of animating Max I don't like biped but if you prefer biped it's here also um so that's that's pretty much that and um the other thing you will need then is this uh, I think it's linked here as well or sorry linked on this page um somewhere maybe not but anyway it's called glue and you'll find it here on varcade or vrcade.com just uh, do a search obviously for glue at sprite sheet maker uh, it's very 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 simple to use and it's only 20 something k or something when you download it so that's what you'll need or else you can find your own solution have a look in script spot for a sprite sheet render that'll actually render off the whole sprite sheet um, but this combination here is perfect for me and um, so back to here's the trump character and um, if i turn on some um turn on uh, shapes you can see he's actually fully rigged and uh, helpers so yeah he's actually a fully uh, rigged uh, cat block so into the motion panel I'll just select the pelvis root um, and then I have a cat motion layer applied here just um, from the cat motion editor so I'll just uh, turn on that layer and then you can see 
you know, the animation is on our bloke. So that was just a quick way to set this up. Um, and the idea with this then is that, that, that you can, as I said, it doesn't obviously have to be low poly, it can be any sort of character, and you can have any kind of lighting, um, which is also another kind of bonus, or you could have like a, uh, you know, emissive materials, or you can have anything you like, anything, because you're not limited by the game engine, and the fact that it's not a 3D character that you're bringing into the game engine. Even the rig can be a highly complex rig with, um, you know, a complex uh, facial rig set up and, and anything anything that you can do within your 3d package you can render out and um, so that's that's why i think it's it's a great uh, little workflow and um, so if i go to press c to go to a uh, camera and that is the wrong one camera two you can see here i've set the camera up as an orthographic camera and um if i just come over here and select camera you can see here I have it set to um, orthographic projection and I also just have it the camera itself and um, just I just zeroed it out here and uh, the target and the camera uh, just so you know they're lined up obviously and then it's an orthographic projection so it's a perfect orthographic projection but as I said you could also render out these sprites and um, with some perspective and have a sort of a 2.5 d 3d background or fully realize 3d background with your sprites as the characters or whatever you want to do it's very flexible so i'm just going to hide the rig bits and bobs and now you can see here shift f to turn on save frames and f10 sorry just a little tip there don't press f10 when recording with camtasia studio because that's the shortcut to stop the video so I'll just come up here and render setup. That's the hockey F10 for render setup. So I'm just using um, 2014 here because uh, I had a project of a project that I'm working on in 2016. I was too lazy to save it and reopen it, so I just opened this in 2014. So you can use any render you like. I'm just using the scan line for this example, but you could set up a V-ray or whatever render you liked, and. Um, you know because it's gonna render it's gonna render the animation in a couple of seconds so this is a looping animation and um, just 19 frames cap motion um, or the one that's applied will just you know it's whatever 60 or 70 frames for that run cycle but um I just found out where um, the down was and you can see there the first and last frames are the same they're duplicates because um, it's a looping animation, so um, if I press play, you know it's looping through, and um, it doesn't matter if there's a, um, a, a duplicate frame, <coughs> and it's it's gonna play those two frames um, with 3D animation in, in Unreal. You can just um, interpolate it, and it'll, it'll drop that dupe frame. So, um, or you can set it up here if you want for a looping cycle within 3D Max. It's not doesn't matter. Even with the sprites, you can just delete. Um, one of the duplicate sprites so it's no big deal right so if this set up here now anyway just to render it and what I've done is I've set it to the size that I want um, each of the sprite grids to be so in this case 5 12 by 5 12 just for the example but if it was a game you might only have this at you know 32 by 32 or whatever because obviously these are all textures that are going to be used um, within uh, the engine um, but you're going to be creating a flip book as well within Paper 2D and UE4. So set that to whatever you like. I'm going to leave it at that for this. Um, and then just the usual sort of basics just for saving out um, an animation sequence uh, for max, you know, active time segment, blah, blah, blah. And then I'll just say, um, you know, I've set it up already here. And I'm just going to bring that folder in so you can see the frames rendering, how quickly they render. You know, so that's you know a couple of seconds or whatever. And here's all the frames now. And one important thing is that they're rendered out as a PNG with the alpha channel stored in it. It's very important, obviously, when you're working with sprites. Um, and that's how the Paper 2D um, engine or system sort of recognizes, you know, the boundaries of blah, the boundaries of the sprites and all the rest of it. So with the sprites all rendered out now. Um, I'm going to open up uh, Glue 
and here it is as I said it's a tiny little program but it's so simple Jeez, here's the steps so you're just gonna add and then just uh, you know shift click select all your frames to show up in the list here and um, the number of columns uh, so if I set that to zero and, and hit glue it and um, it's gonna be just one long strip um, all the way uh, left to right so I'll close that out and you know you can set that to as many columns as you like so if I hit five columns to glue it it's gonna have five columns across uh, which might be um, better for your sprite sheet because it's more square or whatever so that's all that is and then and then you can just um, preview it here and then just save it out so it'll just automatically save to the same um, location so I'm just going to call this uh, Trump run and that'll save that out as a sprite sheet and you can see it here close that down and there's our sprite sheet with uh, the five columns so now I'll jump into uh, UE4 um, so I'm just going to um, set up a new project from the launcher here and it doesn't matter here we won't be doing that in a minute it's just going to um, load up a blank scene so a new project um, you know you could set up set all this stuff up in your uh, 2d side scroller and swap out your sprites for the for the bloke that's there I'll probably do a tutorial on that as well but for the moment um, I'm just gonna choose a blank right so blank pop project with no starter content and I'll just call this uh, um, paper Oop, paper 2d demo and uh, create project so with that project open now I'm just gonna um, off screen here I'm just gonna drag in uh, the Trump sprite sheet that we just created and glue it now um, you can also just bring sprites directly in and um, it's also an option um, but I just wanted to show the process of bringing the sprite sheet in and extracting the sprites and then creating the flipbook so if I right click on this um, UE will recognize it as a spray and then you get a spray actions here so the first thing you want to do because it, there's some weird gamma settings um, with these spray texture so you just want to uh, click apply paper to the texture settings uh, something to do with the sRGB and you can see now that we can clearly see the PNG transparent background um, and then if I right click it on again spray actions and then extract sprites it's gonna pop up with um, or uh, just it's like a sp not a sprite editor, but when you extract the sprites, you get some options here, and you can see here now this is um something um to show. You can see here it, because of the way you know even though it's five twelve by five twelve that we rendered out, um you know they're all the frames aren't the size because they're cropped um to the maximum pixel uh, left right top and bottom. So obviously. You know, in the expansive parts of the run, it's going to be a wider box, and then, like in the passing position, it's going to be much narrower. So, and um, this isn't what you want, and um, because it'll 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 cause the animation to 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 jump, because it's not all centered um, to exact size boxes or grids. So you want to check this to uh, grid instead of all. Now you can uh, in the defaults, uh, the sprite editor settings and the uh, editor pr preferences, you can set this to grid by default but it's no big deal so you can see now it's it's just um, create a grid around the entire sprite sheet and the cell width here is the size of the actual texture so because we know we rendered out a 512 by 512 you can just change this to 512 by 512 and now that'll give us perfect um, it's going to give us uh, perfect cells that we want um, and that's exactly what we want and you can change some of these settings if you want and then if I say extract we will get our extracted sprites and they're all perfectly positioned now um, and now that they're all still selected I just right click and create flipbook is the first uh, option here from sprite actions the rest of them are gone so it automatically knows 
I'll just call that Trump run and now we can see a little preview so if I double click and drag back here I'm just gonna dock this up here um, there we go that's our little uh, this is our little kind of sprite animation preview uh, it's like a paper 2d persona I suppose persona being the, uh, the 3d preview um, in UE so flipbook editor um, and then it gives you some options here and the usual sort of stuff up here and down here is our timeline and you can see each um, sprite in the flipbook is a frame and then frames per second it's 15 by default here um, and there's the um, you can turn on collision force frame collision and e uh, each frame collision so that would mean as I said earlier on that it's expansive it's expanding out here and then contracting on the passing position so um, you can just have a more simple collision um, based on the force frame or else you can have each frame so it'll, it'll dynamically change as the animation plays in game so you can raise this up you know and speed up the animation or you can slow it down um, or you can also expand these out so if I just stop that for a second you can grab these little lines here and then I could expand that out to two frames and expand this out and so on but obviously if you do that you're gonna get um, you're gonna get a skip here because I'll just set back to more reasonable speed you can see that little, yeah, the way it's pausing momentarily <coughs> excuse me that's because it's a dupe frame as I was talking about back in Max so if you um, you can play with this if you have like a lot of sprite animations kind of old school pixel sort of animations and um, might just have three frames um, for a walk cycle like um, you might have um, extreme on the left extreme on the right and then just a passing position in the middle so it might only have um, three frames so you can mess around with that timeline and you can also right click here and you can duplicate frames delete frames so as I said earlier if you get an extra frame you know from your animation in max it's no big deal and um, you can just uh, delete the frame here or if you want to add a dupe you can you can just right click and, and duplicate the frame so it's, you know it's no big deal in max if you haven't set up your loop and animation exactly so back in the editor now um you can see here there's uh, our paper flip book and these are sprites so what you might do for your workflow you know you might set these up in folders and um like the sprite sheet's going to be sort of your source texture and, and all these as well then uh, you can put them into some sort of source folder and then um, this is going to be what's going to be used in the game it's what you're going to be calling uh, through blueprints or whatever like, or the uh, the animation uh, the game uh, state machine so i can just drag this out now into the world um, and as you can see it's just just a sprite in the world so you know that could be you know the game world or whatever where you have it set up and you just, it's just a matter of dragging it out then and as you would any other object but you know obviously it's a sprite um, so that's that's pretty much it um, that's all I wanted to show in this um, in this tutorial and hopefully you can see um, how useful this could be and how powerful it could be um, obviously you have to um, fully rig a 3d character um, but I don't know if anybody's ever attempted to <laughs> create sprite animations in, in Microsoft Paint um, any day I'd, I'd rather uh, rig a character a 3d character and um, so that's it then and I, I hope to do some more paper 2d tutorials because um I've, I'm seriously considering um, doing a game prototype myself and um, I was, I'm just kind of testing out workflows myself and just messing around with it so I'll, anything I discover I'll, I'll probably make a tutorial about it alright then hope this was helpful and I'll see you in the next one alright cheers thanks good luck